Hi, I'm Bonnie Kaplan, and I'm a docent at the Sarasota National Cemetery. A very rewarding job, I must say. After I meet the people who are there to look at the artwork and the ideas of the Patriot Plaza, I welcome everybody and ask if there is ever a veteran in the group. Well, there was at this time, and he responded, I am. I said, what campaign? The Forgotten War, Korea. I thanked him for his service, and then we continued on our way. Our first stop was at home by Anne Hirsch, which is of this magnificent bronze sculpture of the eagles, and from there onto the rostrum. Well, the rostrum has a magnificent mural, you wouldn't believe, out of glass mosaic. It's phenomenal. After explaining all the symbols on that and the Berghaus star map, we proceeded on to the west entrance where the guards of that entrance are placed and they're mythological and guardian eagles again. Totally different than the other one at home. I led the way, all of a sudden, there was silence. I wondered what's wrong. I looked around and the veteran was crying. Tears were streaming down his face and so was his wife. I mentioned that it's okay, gave them time to compose themselves and further on we went. At the end of the tour, I asked their friend to please accompany me to my car. I would give him a brochure about the cemetery and the Patriot Plaza. In so doing, he said to me, you don't know what this has done for him. He hasn't spoken of the war for 55 years. You started the healing process. He showed emotion. He said, it was wonderful. Thank you so very much. And it suddenly occurred to me, the forgotten war is not forgotten. Thanks to the Patriot Plaza and the people who have been there. It was inspiring because the whole mission is to honor service, inspire patriotism, and embrace freedom. This veteran did all of that but he couldn't talk about it. The war that was not remembered suddenly was.